Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronox for a Summoner's War video for uh, Dragon B10. So this is my team. Got uh, Vertihal, Galleon, Hua, Lin, and uh, what's his face? <laughs> Let me check again. It's been a while. Okay, chilling. So those are my stats. Uh, chilling, I know. Uh, it's better if you uh, don't power up his buff to uh, have a... Uh, more reliable, consistent uh, uh, removal on the shield. I mean, my my stats are good; they're not uh, amazing. Uh, my vertical really needs some work. It's just uh, I've been like spreading my runes all over the place, and this has been working out for me. It's a uh, consistent uh, speed clear team. And uh, well, you'll see. Uh, I got the uh, giant B10 team with uh, double Lucian as well. This is not the fastest thing, but with Hua uh, reducing the attack bar and Galleon just helping a bit there, uh, especially with uh, Violin, it, uh, I mean, it's enough. Also chilling, just uh, ch chilling, just removing the shield just makes a massive difference. <coughs> Having a, a team that's able to just down the dragon before the shield kicks in is uh, you need like extremely good runes, and even then, like something can just like go bad. Like you know, you know how the AI works in this game. It's uh, <laughs> oh a new install so <coughs> so the dragon is it's like controlled now the shields in you can take a breath it's fine but he like he didn't even he, he wasn't able to go Lin just does insane damage. I'm I have her ruined on violent. I feel it's more consistent. Uh, rage with all the cooldowns, you could just have nothing up on the dragon, and like this time it's not. It's slow. But when when they uh, redid Lin, it just helped so many people. If you don't have her in your uh, monster box, you really should build her. There's people running two of her. I mean, they, I mean, they, they probably did it at the start, but uh, now it's uh, they must have like they must not run double of her anymore. Unless they, if they have crazy runes, actually. Uh, at that point, they can they can probably just run a like AOE cleave setup with their runes. Like when you have a run like this that goes straight for the dragon, it's so nice. Especially when the defense break uh, kicks in. If if Galleon is on top of his game, like that, that's pretty good. My chilling, oh, I should probably need the options. My chilling is uh, violent with DPS runes. Like, if if you're starting this, like dragon runs, and you cannot make a speed team, you should. Oh uh, well, yeah, that's a lot of damage, but uh, it's fine. Many times you can just have like, oh, because galleon and chilling are. That's pretty good time. They're water based, so they take less damage from the dragon. My galleon is pretty tanky. I use him for PvP as well with uh, Tiana and uh, what's his name? Light uh, Light Samurai and uh, with Lucian. <coughs> Oh, 
Qua is just such a, an amazing hero, you can use her everywhere. <coughs> you just... I mean, early on you probably cannot ruin her with uh, very uh, DPS, like amazing DPS stats, but you should build her with uh, <coughs> either... Uh, many people just build her swift. Uh, you see many people running her swift, it's like for raids. But it's better to have her on violent for uh, B10 runs. Now literally use her everywhere. Giant, Dragon, Necropolis, TOA for uh, well TOA is for the boss. <coughs> uh, Floor 100. <coughs> Even user in uh, PvP. Siege battle when I was doing that before. Raids of course. I mean you just you need to have her in raids, it's just a requirement. Optimal team just needs to have her. Having her on violent there is makes the run more dangerous. Like she can go multiple times and like you could have other like a support hero that goes multiple times and then you know, you'll have like back to back uh, AoE on you, and that's not gonna be too good. But uh, here for uh, for dragons, like, there's many uh, <coughs> comps without Verdehal. I know it's like I'm running Verdehal, it's just like uh, it's the cookie cutter setup, basically. I mean, not everyone runs chilling. It's just like I, I have him and. <coughs> He's really good for real-time arena as well. You see this run is... Uh, Hua could... Uh, she's dead now, so let's see what happens. That's just not gonna end well. <coughs> but this setup has been very consistent. Without having Hua to reduce the attack bar, it's just gonna be a wipe on the on the boss here. But you know, you never you never know. Like Lin could just go crazy here, or not. That was that was like her first kill. Oh wait. Uh, okay, this is not good. The shield kicked in. Ah, uh, you needed the defense break here. Wow, you see, like, it, it still happened, but... Having having Hua just die... I mean, that's, that's rare. The way it went. And then... Uh, <clears throat> I was pretty lucky on procs there. Like, Vertihile went twice. Uh... Lin, she, she didn't go crazy, but uh, Chilling did some work, and then the, the defense break landed from Galleon. Having Galleon on Violent really, really makes a massive difference. It's like his uh, his AOE defense break is gonna be it's gonna be up more frequently. Gonna do his rotation and like his first his first skill defense break can really save you. <laughs> And of course, like having him skilled up. Uh, everyone. Uh, chilling. You could run chilling without his uh, buff. <coughs> Try to uh, get his first kill as high as possible. <coughs> and uh, Vertihal is, I mean, it's it's you and your luck. You, you basically don't want to skill up his second uh, cooldown reduction. If you're able to max the first skill, that's amazing. Uh, I believe I was not able to, but uh, I was pretty close to it. <coughs> I haven't. I pulled another one. I mean, I've been playing for for a year. I took a break, but uh, now I'm back, starting to make uh, videos like I should have made some before. And this is like 
I mean, it's fairly simple uh, group to build. Uh, the problem is Vertihal, of course, but this game has been out for so long that, I mean, most people can just have Vertihal at this point. I know there's some very unlucky people with uh, without him. Uh, I, I was fortunate to get him uh, early on, and uh, you should just save your stones. Like just be in a guild that's like on par with uh, your monster box and like your skill, and just get those uh, s like summoning stones. Just if you don't have time, just go in a farming guild. Like there's really no excuse. Unless like there there's something major going going on in your life, but if you're serious about this game, you you should just like save up your stones and really go crazy on Vertihal. It's uh, he he's so he's just so important. But they they are they, there's replacement for him. Uh, I mean it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna be as good, but uh, definitely it's definitely possible. I have seen like. Some some crazy setup with the blue dog, uh, the the blue hound, water hound. They use like two of them and galleon, and uh, I mean they, they don't even use Ver Verde in some comps uh, with uh, like crazy DPS. I'll have to make another video for uh, comps without Verde if that's what you're interested in but uh, this video is uh, specifically for my my comp it's, it's just solid Hua is there for safety but also damage uh, Hua could be uh, like you could replace chilling and just have double lin but then you might be unlucky and like the shield's gonna be up you could have one lin on rage rage blade let's say and then the other lin would be on uh, on violin just like you mix it up that's maybe decent but uh, yeah guys that's it for this video uh, if you liked it, you know what to do. Uh, Astronauts uh, out, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.